All right, young engineers, we are going to do a quick video uh, for us to get started on the basic idea of uh, applied statistics. We're going to learn some basic uh, ideas of statistics. And what are they useful for in engineering or science is making sense out of large data sets. So if we figure just our simple lab where we flung the cotton ball, there were three groups. Uh, each group, or uh, three classes rather, each group flung the thing ten times, more or less. Um, and then there were in each class uh, like eight groups. So you're talking about 24 times 10, 240 different measurements. Statistics can help us make sense out of those large numbers. So we're going to take a look at some real um, simple ideas. This video is not meant for you to watch straight through. You should be pausing it and doing some of your own work uh, as I model what we're doing uh, on my with my data. First thing I want you to do, though, is I want you to define these terms, and you can Google them, mean or average, median, mode, range, and standard deviation. Um, some of these words like range and mean or average, if you just Google those words, you're going to get like all sorts of meaning. We're talking about an oven range, uh, a range where cattle roam. What are we talking about? So one of the things you're going to want to do then is you know put range in statistics. Get the what we're looking for. You don't have to copy all of this stuff. Put something that's meaningful for you. And you don't need equations in this. We're going to practice the equations uh, together. So first thing you're going to do then is you're going to go ahead and put activity 3.5, apply statistics, define these five terms. All right. Okay, so now we've defined those five terms, and you should have this sheet in front of you. Mine's a little bit different. My data set is going to be different than yours because I don't want you merely just to copy what I'm doing. I want you to do the process yourself. The, there's space up here for mean, median, mode, range, and standard deviation. We're going to apply those definitions we just wrote down to this data set. And you'll see there's a couple of equations here, and they could look kind of intimidating maybe to new students. But uh, they just have Greek letters in them for to doing relatively simple things. Uh, this one right here, mu, that's the mean or the average. And then this one is the Greek letter sigma. It is a little bit complex. There's a square root and some squaring, but we'll break that down. That's the standard deviation. So we're going to learn how to do those things uh, in this unit. So again, your, da your data is different than mine. Uh, so you're going to do it with yours. And again, expect to pause so that you can do it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to calculate the average uh, of your data set. And that's a pretty simple thing to do. Most of us have done averages before. So what do we need to do? This is telling me. That's the Greek letter sigma. It's saying sum. It's a fancy word for add. We're going to add all of these up together. And then we're going to divide by n the number of measurements or the number of values. In this case, if I count one, two, you know, all the way, there's 12 of them. So this is something where we can make a simple mistake, not adding correctly with our calculators. My value adds up to 84.8. You might want to pause your video right now and find out what yours is and maybe confer with someone next to you that you didn't make a mistake, right? Go ahead and do that. Once you have that value, we're almost done with the average, right? That's what this symbol means, the sum of measurements, x. So I'm going to put there 84.8, and now I just divide by n. And n, in this case, was 12. There was 12 of those. And when I do that, you get an average of 7.07. .07. And I kind of ran out of room, but you know what? I'm going to put it up here. The mean of my data was 7.07. .07. .07. Realize I got that value from there. Okay. Okay. So now we're ready to, to tackle our standard deviation. We're going to do that in a few steps. Once we do that, the, me, the median and the mode and the range, those are pretty simple ideas. So let's do the hard one first, the standard deviation. Two steps. First thing I want to do is I want to ca calculate the difference between the measurements, which are these, and the average, which we just calculated to be 7.07. .07. So that's really simple. We're just going to take the measurement 7.01 .01, and subtract 7.07. .07. Uh, when I do that, measurement minus the average. OK, sorry about that. Oh, simple. Yeah, like I was saying, all you do is do 7.1, and you subtract from it the average, which in this case was 7.07. .07. So when I do that, you can use your calculator if you want. It becomes 0 
that's the same value, 7.1 to minus 7.07 .07 is 0 0.03. This one would be the measurement, 7.0 minus 7.07. .07. This would be negative 0 0.07. And that's OK to have negative numbers. It just means that your average value is less than the measurement. You're going to have negative numbers, in fact. So take a moment and finish doing that. Just subtract your measurement and subtract from it your mean. All right, so there's mine all populated, lickety split. And next thing I want to do is I want to take this value, the measurement minus the average, and I simply want to square it. That means I'm going to multiply it by itself. So 0 0.03 times 0 0.03, that's going to give me 0 0.0009. That's the same thing. 0 0.03 times 0 0.03 will give me 0 0.009. Here, 0 0.07 times, or negative 0 0.07 times negative 0 0.07, that's going to give me 0 0.00. Four nine. So you'll notice when we square it, we should get rid of all these negative numbers. These should all be positive. So take a moment and do that with your data. Okay, so I've done ahead, gone ahead and done all mine in this case. Those are the values then that I get. My next step then, right, I'm looking at my standard deviation formula. Look at this. This is x minus mu squared. Well, that's what this is, x minus mu. Your measurements minus your average squared. Here's that sum symbol again. Just means add up. So I'm going to add all these numbers together, right? And what am I going to get for my data? I get 0.3268. You pause the video and add yours up carefully. Confer with the neighbor. Make sure you guys get the same number and add that up. All right, so finally, last thing we're going to do is we're going to plug in these values to find this idea of the standard deviation, give us an idea of how much the data is really spread out. So I'm going to do it over here. Oops, put it down so you can see it a little bit. And I'm going to take the square root. All right, and the sum of this, that's this number right down here. So for me, that was 0.3268. And we're going to divide it again by the number of values, which was 12. That whole thing needs to be calculated, and we take the square root of all of it. Right? When I do it with my data, I get 0.165. That's the standard deviation, and it gives me an idea of how much the, the data is spread out. If the standard deviation is small, all of my measurements are pretty close to each other. If the standard deviation ends up being really large, then all of my me measurements might be, one might be really small, and other, others might be really large. So it gives us an idea of the spread of the data. Okay, we're just going to do quickly then uh, the median mode and range, and then we are done with the analysis part. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to calculate then what is the median of this data set. It's helpful for me, for me to sort the data from smallest to largest, um, and we're going to take a look at what is the median. The median is simply the kind of the middle number if I have a data set. What's the middle number? If you have an odd number, it's pretty easy to do it, right? It's just the number that's in the middle between the high value or the high value and the low value. This would be the median. We have an even uh, set of data. There's 12 measurements here. So the mean or the median is going to be a little bit more tricky, but not hard. It's just going to be the average of the two middle ones. So if I look, what are the two middle ones here? Six and seven, right? There's five data sets higher or five measurements, and there's five lower. So I want to know what the mean, the median is here. I'm just going to average these two. Uh, halfway between 7 and 7.1 is 7.05. So that's my median. For this data set, then, my median is 7.05. Next, we'll do the mode. The mode is the number that occurs most often. And in this data set, I think we've got two, right? Seven pops up three times, and 7.1 pops up three times. So in this case, there's two modes, and I would refer to this as being bimodal uh, data. There's two things that are uh, pop up the same number of times. So the mode in this case for my data was 7 and 7.1. The range is really simple. The range is simply the, the max minus the min. What's your largest value? What's your, your smallest value? And what's the difference between them? Well, since I already have it sorted, here's my maximum value. Here's my minimum value. So 7.4 minus 6.8 gives me point, um, 
what is it, 0. 0.6. So my range is 0. 0.6. My data spans from small to large 0. 0.6 um, measurements in that case. Okay, so that's it in basic statistics. Find those values for your data set.